Well, welcome. I'm Trish. Thank you for joining me. I uh, just want to say welcome to all the new subscribers. I've had a bit of a growth in the last couple of weeks. So welcome back to my channel. I'm doing another true crime reading today. I am going to share with you a couple of dreams that I have and then I'm going to read on them. I believe one of them is related to the Idaho Fall case, perhaps even the other two are as well. So, And the dream was about brothers. So I really do believe it's brotherhood fraternity but in the dream there was three brothers two of them were involved in drugs in some way and the third brother was wanting to take something to the next level he was wanting to one up so there was three of them all together that were involved in this and two of them were somehow involved in drugs but the third one he wanted to push things further he wanted to take things to the next level so whether he was involved in the drug industry or whether he was involved in the Idaho 4 situation he was the one that was wanting to take things further take it take take things further because that's what the dream was kind of telling me before I knew I didn't even know it was an Idaho dream it wasn't until I was trying to reading through comments and they were saying brotherhood you know family connection brotherhood I'm thinking well I just dreamed about brotherhood so it's the fraternity what this what the dream is making me look at is the fraternity something's playing out there now i've just got to mention in the last video or the last two videos cards did come up with the one with maddie kaylee where i tapped into their energy it did say she was maddie or kaylee it was kaylee i believe was trying to get me to look in at what was going on around ethan so ethan's fraternity she was asking me to look at some kind of conflict or um like battle or conflict that was going on around Ethan so I do feel that means something that was going on within the fraternity now whether that means they were having a battle with that fraternity or whether there was battles going on within it or something related to Ethan she was asking me to look at that also it came up in in I think last week's reading that I did on Idaho for it also said look at the couple um, and and look at family connections which turns out the family connection card in this deck is attaching itself to fraternities and meaning brotherhood so this dream was three brothers two of them in into drugs but the third brother wanted to take things to the next level he wanted to push himself but here's the thing he then i saw him walking into a nightclub i saw this third brother now please be aware I don't see faces when I dream and I don't see faces when I do the cards I do see faces when I'm doing mediumship work and I can see people on the other side I can see their faces pretty clearly but when I'm doing reading the cards I don't see people's faces so if I'm reading on a fraternity for instance and asking questions how they're related to the Idaho 4 case I'm not going to be shown faces I'm not going to be shown which particular frat person it is I, they won't show me that so I and, and I feel like that's for my own protection anyway um, it just means that I don't have too much information that's going to be unsafe for me so they will give me bits of information the dreams will lead me to areas that they need me to look at or need me to tell people about and that's what this dream was it showed me the last brother the third brother that he was the one that wanted to take it to the next level whether whatever that was he was taking to the next level he was going into a nightclub now i felt like he was either trying to coach somebody into the nightclub get someone in the nightclub which means he could be coach which could also symbolically mean that he was trying to symbolically get coaxing somebody into a nightclub could have been coaxing somebody into a situation or a place at a certain time so he could have been involved in that getting somebody in a certain place at a certain time or co like coaxing someone into a situation to maybe be involved in it or be in a place they had to be because that's what he was doing in the dream he was trying almost like he was trying to get people into this nightclub that he was going to now i know one of them is related to a nightclub because when i i watched a video now i don't watch a lot of videos like i said i'm not um a sleuth i don't watch everyone's videos and put things together but obviously because i talk about these things then in my feed it's flooded with this so at the moment i open up my youtube and it's just idaho for all over the place so sometimes one of those thumbnails will catch my attention i think oh that's very similar to what um i've been shown or, or what i've said and i then go deeper into that to look at the 
sleuths out there that are getting the evidence are getting the paperwork and putting it all together now the video that i did watch was um crime 11 11 i'm going to put a little thing up on the screen so you can see which video that i watched and there was a little thing that caught my attention there and she said that it was a social media post perhaps snapchat that was captured and it said about looking they were looking for a patsy to take the fall for this and the reason that triggered me or that kind of caught my attention was because the first read i ever did on this was i got the word patsy around buying coburger so i feel like um yeah i just felt like that really caught my attention so i did read on brian coburger i have read his chart and it showed that he's he's astrology placement shows that he's very capable of doing something like that at the very least his his mission or his his purpose or his star chart layout showed that he would be very good investigator himself he'd be very because he's very much into criminology and and serial killers he'd be very good at um, solving crimes like this or he could have he could take it to the extreme level and um, learn how to plan the perfect crime so either way it shows in his charts i just got to say that so with the fraternity dream that i had and i watched this video on crime 1111 i was shocked to see a picture of a young uh, fraternity student they were all young fraternity students in my dream like they were young young guys young brothers um standing in front of a place called the corner club and it was a nightclub and i'm like wow i just dreamt about that two nights ago so it was like all the pieces are sort of coming together so anyway i feel it's important i feel that that key aspect is something they want me to read on and just pull the cards and see if there's anything around that perhaps um you sleuths know something about that situation and and have a bit of an understanding of it i'm going to pull cards on it and see what they say now the other dream that i had was a i believe it was a medium type dream i had a young man again early 20s he appeared in my dream and he was getting me to go through a file cabinet and look for a name and address and he very very clearly spelt out a name to me he made me repeat it back so I remember well I woke up and I didn't remember the only thing I remember about it was t-h-o-r so I've just had um, a light shine no light and now it's off again so all of a sudden the camera just shined a big light when I spot out that name so that was a bit bizarre but anyway so that's all I can remember out of the name that he was trying to get me to spell I don't know if he was getting me to spell somebody's surname or somebody's street address or somebody's town but it was t-h-o-r so maybe like thorn something something like that anyway but that's all I can remember I'm sorry but he then I saw this young man he was a fair-headed man like a young early 20s fair hair he then gave me the thumbs up and he crossed over through a gate so i don't know if it was like a crossing over or i don't know if it was somebody coming forward giving me information around this case i'm not sure but i just have to say that i had that dream i also had another dream about a bus so i've been dreaming a lot lately and i had another dream about a bus it had a lot of young people on this bus and now i don't know if that means transport to the house or i don't know if it means you know a lot of people involved because there was a lot of young people on this bus and 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 when the bus stopped at a gate it said to me i can't go any further so they were going to do something they all got off the bus to do something and in the dream it said to me I can't go any further I just have to stay here so whether the dream was saying you can't see past this point or um whatever that whatever that scenario was it kind of just stopped me on the bus and I had to just sit on the bus and then the dream was over I woke up but it was something where all the young people were getting off the bus and they told me no you can't go past this point you just this is you have to stay here so they weren't showing me anything else past that point of relating to all of these young people um, on transport or related to transport maybe so maybe that's connected maybe it's not I don't know so let's have a look at the cards now all of the cards that I read on all of my readings they're my own cards um, all of the decks is that's what I do I create oracle decks and tarot decks so and I've been a graphic designer for many years and a photographer for a few decades so I do create decks and so all of the decks that I use are my own creation this deck here which is my investigation oracle people always ask me what are you using well this is my investigation oracle and it's tarot as well so it's all a, a specifically made for true crime readings it has lots of stuff about true crimes it does not have in it anything about the dark web because i noticed there was something on a, on a comment on on my last video about the dark web 
which kind of really disturbed me too by the way um it was disturbing and they and the person that said it said it was sickening whatever this was is sickening and it kind of really it kind of got to me a little bit um, but I don't have a card about the dark web in here and I don't think I'm going to put one in because I think of all crimes if you're looking at a missing person I think to see someone's passed over is one thing but to see something related to dark web I think is just traumatic for the people that like the family so I don't think I'll put a dark web card in here but the card that I think I need in here I'm not sure if it's in here is corruption because I think a lot of these cases have corruption so I'm just saying I don't this card may this case Idaho 4 may have corruption it may not I'm not saying either way but I'm saying I feel like I need a corruption card in these decks so I'm just going to build my energy for a second and then I'm going to lay some cards and have a look at the involvement of fraternities. What what role did it play in this case? Now I feel a little anxious reading on this. I feel um, how it feels to me is that people are getting close. I feel people are getting close to finding like an answer here. And I feel it almost feels like when you're mining for gold and you hit a seam, it's like it, it feels like it's hitting on a seam or hitting a nerve almost. I feel like by even talking about brotherhood or fraternities, um, I feel like it's like hits a nerve. It hits a nerve for some people. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to build my energy, pull some cards, and I'm just going to see what they say. Okay, so I've just tapped into my personal oracle, which is this one here. This is my personalized deck, and I, I really just tap in here first to see if I have permission to read on something or if I have a connection actually to read on something. I first tapped in to see if I had a connection to any of the victims on the other side. I do not. Um, they said there's some kind of healing going on there, so after trauma, obviously. So I don't have a connection there, but then I tapped into my spirit team, which I'm already tapped in. Um, so I just focused on my spirit team and just ask you know am I able to read on this what do you want to talk about um, what what's the connection here they did advise me to walk away from um, pointing the finger at anyone putting any particular person in the spotlight here when it comes to reading on the fraternity brothers or the the frat so or the brotherhood so it says just um, it asked me to walk away from naming and shaming anybody or putting anybody in the in the focus or the far, forefront of this reading so here I'm just focusing on generally the bigger picture the, the bigger overall fraternity here this says bigger picture so it's just us and it's saying it is a bigger picture there was teamwork here this is the teamwork involved so it's teamwork um, so that uh, and it was here related to getting control or getting power back so there was some kind of power situation or struggles and it's uh, related to getting power back or control here somehow um, but yeah they're asking me to walk away from pinpointing anybody um, and not that I would know anybody because again like I said I don't see faces when I I'm reading I also am not overly familiar with the names of everybody in this situation so I'm just going to do a general reading here on um, the fraternity um, basically well, let's look at my dream first of all and see if my dream is related to the Idaho Fall case the cards are telling me here is we've got narcissistic energy so somebody being very narcissistic and that related to the person in my dream that was wanting to level up take things to the next level they wanted to outdo somebody so they wanted to almost like um, make a point prove something or the energy of narcissism wanting to um, take things to the next level being um, I don't know if it's revenge or if it's like um, showing dominance in some way because we had that card of controlling that controlling energy card and sitting here I've got also got the energy of the narcissist card so it is saying that there's somebody involved in this situation that in a way is has that kind of tendencies of narcissism but almost wanting to show their dominance or their control the dream made me feel dominance it made me feel like they wanted to take things to the next level to prove their dominance now prove is a really good word I'm hearing here as well I feel um, prove is a really it's like they're proving themselves in some way or they're proving their dominance in some way is what I is what I'm hearing and picking up around in this in this reading so I feel that's really important statement that I just said now it is related here to jail okay there this is my jail card my commitment card um, somebody being charged um, criminal offenses even so it can be related to 
somebody trying to stay out of jail, somebody have, that should be in jail, somebody that is in jail. So whether we're talking BK here, narcissist, I don't know if that's his energies um, or I don't know if I'm talking about because I did ask the connection to my dream with this case that's what I'm asking on here so the connection to my dream was giving me that narcissist energy which I did feel of the person that was in the dream the third brother the brother was trying to prove their prove their power their dominance in some way now I've got jail so whether they're reviewing facts or hiding facts is here this is evidence and facts around this this is what i was saying i feel like there's stuff coming out around this case that is going to be hidden because if there were all these facts and information were reviewed i think it would really throw a spanner in the works to the current trial or case that's going on but i feel like what i'm okay reading these cards in i'm going to read them as many ways as i can i'm going to see what i can really pick up here somebody's saying that this is my fault okay this is my fault this is taking acknowledgement so the person i'm talking about here is taking on acknowledgement of responsibility for this okay remember before in the cards i did get teamwork involved as well we've got the teamwork card here but this one is a single person a narcissist type powerful power hungry type person um now, this is called commitment, this card, so it can be related to a commitment, but this is also the jail card. So whether that's related to somebody that's in jail or somebody that should be in jail, but there's something around this case where the facts are being reviewed around it. So this is just tapping into, and it's taking responsibility, so this is my energy. So I'm not saying that if this is not not BK if this is somebody else I don't feel they're taking responsibility I really don't but it's saying that this is my fault the person I'm tapping into which I don't know who this person is but the person I'm tapping into out of my dream the third brother that wanted to take it to the next level I'd show their dominance show their um, their narcissistic controlling energy that um, we also had in this spread and the spread before this person is taking responsibility for it and saying it's um, them so I'm not sure who that person is but here it's saying jail there's jail sitting right next to that and reviewing facts so there's facts or this is an open book too by the way it's not a closed book i'm picking up here it's not like it's the case is closed either um it's not closed book it's like still open here we're still open to so i'm feeling like this person has to be very careful because this case is still open so they've got to be very careful what they do here so let's tap into the energies of the fraternity now. So I'm tapping into the energies of the fraternity related to the Idaho 4 case. Also, I find something really interesting. When I was doing the Brian Koberger spread, um, I had to write, I had to put the dates in to, to get the charts out. And it was like, wasn't the address of that house 1122 King Road, but this took place in November 22 so 11 22 so that's kind of making me think ritual too like um and where i said prove yourself i'm just saying like i don't know um where i'm saying and i'm going to shuffle to see if the cards can validate any part of this or disagree with me even but what i'm th sensing here is like when you get numbers like that because i'm not a sleuth but i'm into conspiracy so um i know numbers are very important in in these things so gematria and um, which i'm not into gematria and numerology so if there's anyone out there i wonder if they're working with the numbers and what these numbers mean or you know the ritual point of view of this so what if it's like some kind of ritual type thing where somebody needs to prove themselves to okay from a conspiracy point of view it's like when somebody steps up levels up like the dream said they're wanting to level up when somebody steps up into a role or steps up into now i'm thinking like say celebrities or you know musician like singers or entertainers in some way and they hit the big time they say there's some kind of sacrifice that's taken place to get them into that position just saying and I'm only coming I'm not coming from this particular case I'm taking I'm bringing this in from a conspiracy point of view now I'm seeing all these numbers 1122 I keep getting these lights flashing um, and there's no lights I'm not quite sure what's going on with this camera it just lights up every now and then it's very weird anyway I'm, I'm just wondering if there's any um, kind of ritual type thing here let's ask that question Let's ask if there's any kind of ritual leveling up of some sort involved in this. 
magician is manifesting it's about um, using your own powers manifesting in some way that's a lot of cards undercover we've got again we've got the fool so the fool um, walking their path so this part things that they have to do to be able to walk a path and this is just asking and this is the star cards the star of hope we've got implications people implicated uh, the split mind this is the one with the two different time pieces on it so the two time pieces on it and here's the magician so an undercover look I'm not and clo closed doors or locked okay so I'm not really I'm, not, I'm that avenue of the rituals look I don't know I don't I think it might be a closed door the, I don't have any ritual cards here at all except the magician magician is a ritual card um, but I just think it, that it, it, it's also about opportunities that we create as well so it's about create they've created this opportunity for whatever reason let's so get into the fraternity finally okay let's ask on the fraternity is the fraternity involved in the idaho four case is the is the fraternity involved in the idaho four murders asking it in the wrong way it's telling me straight away because i've got a wrong direction card so the way that i've asked that i've asked it wrong it's a wrong direction so and it's a media distraction so something's hidden away we've got something hidden away around this media distraction put in a room so put in a room when i'm asking about fraternities I feel that's interesting. I feel like there's something going on there. Also, smoke and, smoke and mirrors too. Look at that. Smoke and, it's like smoke and mirrors. See the like bedroom doors? I'm not sure what that is, but I feel like it's something. And it, distraction. Distraction. This is my distraction card. So I feel there's a bit of a distraction going on there. So, okay, so what it's telling me is that I've asked it, and this is consum um, consumption here. So, you know, consuming alcohol or drugs. So consumption, um, and that's a temperance card. More than one person involved. Okay, let's try ask um, Ethan's fraternity. Let's ask if they have any knowledge on Let's ask if they, if they, if Ethan's fraternity has any knowledge of what's happened, what happened. Okay, so they're aware of an aggressive attack. This is an aggressive attack, and I did get that last week when I read on um, I, around Ethan. There was some kind of aggressive attack around Ethan, so I, I am getting that. So they are aware of that, and there was some kind of attack related to Ethan and his his um, fraternity there. Somebody that he knows, so that could be somebody within that fraternity, somebody that he knows. Now, I don't know if there's different fraternities, I don't know if you know Ethan's fraternity is the same as, say, Jack and Adam's fraternity. I don't know, that's what I mean. That's why I think I'm asking in the wrong way because I don't know the names of the fraternities. Okay, I'm getting the sense of whistleblower here too. Um, this is the the judgment card, but I'm wondering if it's like a whistleblower because this one's blowing a trumpet. It's saying something was unseen, so they either didn't see it. Or they didn't see it coming so that um, they didn't see it coming and marks left behind so to me that's like um, evidence left behind so things left behind that around the fraternity so again I'm asking in the wrong way delays uh, emperor which is um, father figure or leader father figure or leader of the fraternity around the fraternity factions at war I get that all the time and some kind of um, lying so creative narrative creative okay so around that there is a a narrative that's put into play that covers up so 
the fraternities are not involved so the, i'm just saying that's that's my lies card and guilty on the bottom um that's my lies card so i i still don't feel like i've got I've got this question out properly. The thing is I have to ask the question in the correct way to get the clear answer. I'm just not getting this clear answer. Okay, let's... And it told me not to focus on anyone's names and put the spotlight on any person, but I'm, I'm putting it on that general fraternity of the, the names that get mentioned all the time, like the um, Jack and Adam names. I think there's a few Jacks. Um, Adam so that kind of fraternity there so let's have a look around their fraternity I'm not pinpointing any one of those names because the cards asked me not to saying there's a bigger picture here more to this situation guilty somebody that was known similar cards to what just came out something around okay family home they're telling me is fraternity the family home for this particular case relates to a fraternity or a frat house a frat house but there's a lot of gossips and rumors going on around that so there's gossips and gossip and rumors going on around either um, the narrative that's out, as I said, I saw the, the the lie narrative was out, missing piece. So there's parts of it, there's parts of it around the missing piece. So either they know the missing piece, they know what's going on, or they've got the missing piece. Maybe they know where the weapon is. Um, that's a missing piece. That's something that's not found. But there is some kind of gossip and rumours around either the frat um, and, and that either implicates them, so which is a lie, or it is that they've got a story or a narrative going around that protects them even. So, But there's rumours and gossip and, and narrative and lies going on around that fraternity, around that, frater that frat house. Somebody that's known, somebody that's guilty, some, and there's a bigger picture there. Okay, anything else you want to tell me there? Was this done by more than one person? Was the Idaho 4 murders done by more than one person? inside job okay this is the separation card this is so it's also like it's a three of swords so three of swords three that's the three the three of swords being even though there may have been many people involved they're showing me three here for some reason and three swords so I don't know if that means three knives or if it means three people committed it three people done it but they're showing me the three of swords here inside job three of swords again they're showing me um put in a room um like you can see the two different the two bedrooms but smoke around that situation so smoke and mirrors around that situation again something hidden away so same cards keep coming over and over again and there was stranger um so i've got stranger unknown there's a, like something unknown about this that's gonna may come to light but there's something unknown about this situation this one here says that there was strategy and planning involved in this crime somebody is free and the person that's unknown so the stranger unknown is currently free inside job um, unaware or oblivious so somebody was unaware about it so um, just get a bit more clarity on that I wonder if it was the victims that were unaware that it was going to happen what what was unaware Um, and it's related to secrets being exposed. So secrets were exposed. 
so therefore they were unaware about the implications of it all and something here about being tied down tied down or tied tied in with it all tied down is the name of the card more than one that's also my maddie and kaylee card so if that if you know that story if you know if you want to um use facts on on that part like or any part that i've said if you have facts as a sleuth on any part of what i've said just pop it in the comments okay final question i'm just going to let the cards talk about whatever they want to talk about related to idaho fall murders okay first card that fell out was more than one it's also my maddie and kaylee card next card that fell out suspects suspect motives people that had motives or suspects more than one next card that to, um, fill out family connections also can be related to the fraternity the family the brotherhood the family connections next card is the high priestess and she's all about um, knowledge keeping knowledge or information to yourself so whatever information or knowledge they have they're keeping it to themselves ringmaster that means somebody orchestrated something someone was in charge of something something somebody took charge of something and planned it all played a role that they they were the controlling person the ringmaster purposely disappeared so somebody was purposely disappeared from this scenario i'm not talking about the victims here i'm talking about somebody that was involved or knows information because we also had the one here holding information um, they've been purposely disappeared that which means out of the picture different perspective we have to look at things from a different point of view there's distractions around here so we're being distracted to look over here when we should be looking over here which is exactly what this card means so looking at um, this one says a different perspective looking at things from a different point of view um, and this one here says because we're being distracted we're being looking here that could be Brian Koberger when we should be looking here and that's what these cards say there was DNA left behind this is my card that says there's DNA left behind so I feel like it's not just the knife sheath DNA, I feel like there's other DNA and I don't know if any of that will ever be brought to light but I feel like there's other DNA there that could be checked or let that, that could be even on the bodies, um, there could have been DNA on the bodies, there's like DNA in some way close proximity is what I'm hearing, um, close pr proximity to the house to the people to the victims there's close proximity is what they're telling me for the dna that's left behind but they're saying it's not the knife sheath dna we're talking about here it's different dna and i don't think that'll ever be brought to the light so I, I just don't i feel like if it was going to be it would have been brought up already by now i feel like um it muddies the waters for a conviction on brian koberger if they start looking for anything else or looking at any other person's dna involved in it as well so um yeah thank you for joining me um if you have any questions because you're the ones that do have the knowledge on this how to look around um you're the ones that look around have knowledge on it know what the scenario is if you have questions things that are not making sense to you that you're not sure about put the questions in the comments because as you see i get stuck on questions so i was like i had the questions related to the dream that i had but then i kind of didn't have any other questions because i don't really know what's going on so if you have questions around it i would just ask the cards what they think about those those um answers so thank you so much for joining me i'll see you next week the way if um anybody if that name that thor town street name rings a bell to anything with this case please let me know in the comments because i don't know if it's related to this case i don't know if it was like a medium message for a person that i'm supposed to pass on but if it relates to this case in any way please put it in the comments so i can then let that one go thank you so much